Welcome to Overwatch. Welcome to another episode of uh, probing the money, not coaching the money. Although, if you do have stuff for coaching the money, please send it in. And if you have sent stuff in, check that it's not private, because sometimes people send me VODs and they're private and I can't look at them. Uh, OEMreviews at gmail.com. Send in footage, any footage, please. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, yeah, probing the money. We're looking at pro level play. I'm going to look at some. Some suspect play, because I always like it, so there's something very interesting that happens in any pro game, which is where either, like, someone slams someone else, they play so well, they just smash them down and take out the opposition, or they get slammed, and they, they play badly. And it's, it's always a bit of an anomaly, because normally games are kind of, you know, somewhat even, maybe one team's like the best team in the league, and, you know, oh, they, there's a couple of good fights. Houston... They're having a disaster. Now, there's been like a couple of things that's like bubbled up. Um, the coach sort of came out on Twitter with a very lukewarm kind of, oh, well, people are sick, and so we can't play the property. Like, the missing links there and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, we're sick. But the, he also did own up and say, like, oh, there's coaching errors and stuff like that. They got the wrong strategy for what they wanted to do, which I might call bullshit on. We'll see. Uh, as we could take a good look at the strategy being in play, because what we're seeing here, like, this isn't too uncommon, right? Especially this Symmetra start, don't get fooled by the, the Sim start as being like, oh, this is really unorthodox. It's actually not that uncommon. Uh, the the Rhine Orisa, sure, has a lot of power, especially if you do want to, like, take control of choke points and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. It's fine. Uh, works okay. Like, we've seen the Diva also just be another option. Again, nothing really wrong with bringing along this boy, Baptiste, and there's nothing wrong with bringing along Diana. Like, all this team comp stuff seems fine. And we're actually going to see the Houston Outlaws have a good start. Uh, which is where they basically take control of the area because with Li Zhang Tower, everything in this first engagement is about occupying like this space. If you can take this space away from your enemy, they can't do anything. Uh, this bridge is so dangerous to try and fight across and, and actually do things over. You just you don't want to be caught on that opposite side of that. You really really want to avoid that. So for Washington, like they needed to get here quicker. They needed to get out here quicker. I'm actually sort of curious to see. Yeah, they did the sim start. And they jump forward, and then they just back up, I think. Yeah, they got split by the wall. And so Raw backs away, and that wall split just, like, forces Raw back. And the wall is good enough that it just blocks everyone out, and yeah, they lose all this ground. And get chased out, they're stuck on the bridge. Corey's, like, lagging behind because, of course he is, because he's on the McCree after swapping from Sim. Uh, one thing that I've seen people do, teams do, actually, is instead of using, like, the McCree to do the Sim, they'll use, like, a support, or they'll use, like, the Diva, or something like that, right? They'll use something else, probably, like, Aim God or something, and then play something else that's also mobile, um, just so you can get that DPS there quickly. But maybe that's just, you know... Not viable on this after practicing it, but yeah, another great wall, like, shows how powerful wall is, right? It's just off cooldown all the time. And this Sim's going, like, she's she's up and running, and once she's up and running, Raw gets isolated, cut off, and dead. And like, hey, great start, this is what you want. Like, Houston's comp, really good at holding single locations, right? They want to either fight on the point or fight at a choke point. As long as they're all together, this is a nightmare to break, right? You got double barrier, you got a Symmetra, like, how, how do you smash through that? That's going to be really tough. So we'll see. Rolllock, of course, Rolllock. Uh, I'm an idiot. I swear, I, I swear I have seen teams do something clever where they have managed to, like... I guess it's just with the Reaper. I'm just an idiot. Ignore me. Unless I watch something illegal. Uh, this is possible. Uh, again, okay. Get into the choke. This is always the scary part. And, like, there's, there's weaknesses to exploit here. My question is, where the fuck is the May? Hydration is three miles away. Uh, like, this is sort of the thing that they need to really sort out, is, like, controlling these choke points is going to be absolutely vital for every single team going forward, unless May is banned. Because this should be a scary thing. And I've seen, like, I've been paying attention to it, I've been watching it closely, where teams have been going, like, incredibly, incredibly closely through these points. Like, they've been grouping up, and then they all cross, pretty unified, very, very precisely, very, very cleanly, and it's beautiful to see. But this, this, this is sloppy as hell. It's just like, where the, where's May? Hydration? Hello? Hello? Son? Wall does come up, but it's like, you could have split that way better. Nice early kill into Aim God, though. Hey, that, there goes most of the healing on the team. Does get Nano Boost out, but Houston do the right thing, right? They, they do what I call a parry. Like, I like referring to this as a parry because it makes it sound technical and exciting. But it's basically just like, oh, they've spent ultimates. We're just going to step back. Um, it's just a completely defensive play of like, oh, you're doing something. That's cool. We'll let you do that. And then it's our turn, right? And then we get to do things. And then you get the Symmetra on the point. Simul, really strong on, po on the point. 
sim on IGR, it's really strong on the point, everybody dies. Great fight for Houston. Houston could not be happier. They spent one ulti, they got one ulti out of the Washington Justice, Stratus has swapped since the, the Doomfist. Um, yeah, it's going great for them. They're, they're so far ahead. Let's see how it goes. And a little bit of scouting, a little bit of peek, little peek in. Doomfist sneaking in on the back line. Again, this shouldn't be as scary as it is, but oh. Hi, Doomfist. And do you know what, do you know what really makes me sad? He got the, the immortality filled out, but it still doesn't matter. And actually, if you watch how this happened, because I had to do this in like really slow motion for the clips. Hit, shot, cancel into uppercut, instant death. Nothing they can do about that. And the cool part, like the actual strategic part of this is the feint. Because their entire team has, like, stood over here, right? They're all coming in from over this way, so everyone has to move around. They don't, like, Houston don't have, like, a true off tank. They have two main tanks. So at this point, either Reinhardt needs to, like, keep facing this way, or Orisa just needs to stay here and defend against this, because no one seemed to be... Did they notice? Did they not see the, like, ooh, ooh, the Doomfist having a quick peek, ooh. It's like, no one checked. No one checked. No one looked. And then it's just like, oh, fuck! How far apart is the League vs. the Live version of the game? Uh, at the moment, I think they're completely aligned. They do tend to split, like, for like a week or something, if they do. And yeah, it's just... From that point onwards, once that death comes through, like, they just fall apart completely. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to fight this. They're suddenly like, there's one Doomfist in the back line, and everyone's panicked. Hydration, I don't know why he's over there. Where's where's the main tank? Moomer, where the hell are you? Oh, you're back there. Mecho's back there. It's like, guys, there's five people still over here you gotta deal with. They just don't know where to engage or what to engage. I don't think Overwatch League has Widow nerfs. Uh, it didn't for this week. It probably will for the next week. Is this the Action Esports meme department? Yes. I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. On my memory. My goal at the moment with the meme videos is just I'm building up a vast library of memey things and then eventually I'll just be able to slap it all together. Like this one was already a little bit easier in that front, but I also don't want to just use the same things over and over and over again. So it's like finding stuff. Which results in some very weird Google searches. Uh, <laughs> my my Google recommendations and my YouTube recommendations are gonna be a bit weird for a while. Uh so yeah, like standard defense. Absolutely standard defense. Like if you want the textbook Lee Young defense. Using the big pillar in the middle of the point, scouting, spotting, checking where the enemy is, nothing fancy out of Houston, nice sleep dart, nice fire strike, maybe a little bit of extra damage, yep, some extra damage, good stuff. Okay, group up. So again, notice like notice the big difference here from the first push to this push from Washington. Not the first push, but like the second push, right? Where Washington just kind of ran onto the point and then the wall came in late. Notice how there's like a contesting happening. Stratus just comes in, punches, knocks Mecho back, like, uh, knocks, um, I think he actually more knocks Moomer back, knocks the Rhyme back, I'm not sure actually who he hits, I don't really care, as long as he's knocking somebody back. Right, there's disruption happening, they're, they're stopping them just taking ground for free. There it is, he hits Mecho, boosh. And Moomer gets in, but Moomer's being more isolated. And they're going to engage super goddamn hard on Moomer. It's a great, it's a great halt. Good combos. And it's like, this is very winnable. Uh, how? The Ryan pushes Mako just out when there's no barrier anyway. It's not unwinnable. Ah, yes, I remember this point. Uh, something very strange happens here, which is like... It's just raw on like half hit points against three people with a Lucio coming into support. But something really dumb happens, which is Moomer splits completely from his support. The complete divide between the two. Uh, which means Moomer's not getting any healing. And sure, it's like it's Lucio healing, right? It's it's nothing. But he needs to just be like gaining and gaining and gaining, and he's like hiding all the way off the point around the corner. There's just like nothing. No momentum. There we go. We got a kill. Oh, we got a kill. Lucio and Lucio battles. Spicy. 
but it's so slow and sluggish and just ugh. They even they deflected the electric cowboy. Fantastic. Oh, good. Nice. Good job. Still Washington's point, by the way. Still ticking up for them. This is still all time bought. And oh, look. I'm going to say something controversial. I'm going to have a spicy take. Muma is a lovely human being. He seems like a, a, a an okay-ish person, gets a bit cocky, a bit big for his boots at times. I have never thought much of him as a main tank. Uh, he plays a very aggressive style and that kind of sucks people in and that's fine, but against better tanks he just kind of looks a bit shaky. Uh, and this is a good example of how many people do you need to kill a diva uh, when you have a diva and a Mei and an Ana and a Reinhardt? You, you probably don't need all of them, especially as she's just literally demacking right now. No reaction. No reaction at all. <laughs> Isn't Moomer better at Winston? It, he's better at Winston in the fact that Winston plays more to that style of sucking people in, right? Like, Winston wants to be aggressive and get in people's faces and fight them and not do tanky things. And this this is where, I, like, I don't believe in the, the coaching thing of like, oh yeah, no, we, we had bad info. Because, like, the team that they're playing, the comp that they're playing, isn't unorthodox. It's not unusual. It's not unusual to play me. And McCree. Ba, 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 ba. But there's just like so many little things that's just constantly going wrong. It's just, ugh. Hey, you see, mate. 34 months. Almost three years. Good lord. Absolute mad lad. And this to me is like the concern because this isn't shit you fix with coaching. Or rather, you. You fix this with coaching in the fact that you tell Moomer to brush up on his fundamentals like six months ago. Isn't it that Diva is also not an aggressive tank? Diva's a very aggressive tank. Especially, Diva got buffed recently to have a very, very short cooldown on her thrusters. I've really been enjoying the usage of Deadeye, um, like, that teams have been employing lately. It's very much being used as, like, a very heavy zoning ultimate. There's generally a lot of people playing around it a lot more. It just feels like it's getting a lot more value than it kind of used to. Again... Weird situation. So behind me, hello, I'm in the way, I apologize. Uh, but there is a diva on the point. So, as you can see, there's a, there's a nice little one in the middle of the screen, right? This means that someone's standing on the point. Uh, so diva's on the point, so there's no rush. Oh, wait. Is it an arc boop? Is there a reason for this to happen? I, I don't know where arc is, and this this is the downside of like not using the, the replay viewer. I think Ark is actually behind us. Did I just see some Lucio shots? Oh no, I think I saw him over there. No, I think he's all the way over there. there no, that's Doomfist. The fuck is Ark? No, he's over here. He's got nothing to do with this. So two people just jumped out into the McCree? Like, even if there's a shield there. The only thing that stops that is a D.Va. If there's a Rhine shield, the Rhine shield pops in a second to a charge McCree. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can't see. Oh, oh. Incredible gamers. Corey, known for his good aim. Amazing how McCree's always used one de uh, defense matrix is two seconds and ten meters long. It's pretty good. Strata seems like a, a kind of a fairly hype person. Look at Raw. I think Raw's been maligned. Like, I don't think he's playing as badly as people make out. Okay. Very different map. Again, no no Symmetrocerats. No, like, Sim teleporters or anything fancy. Just a nice little run to the point for everybody, so no big advantage. Testing the point. This is just being obnoxious with the D.Va, like... Taking this high ground is kind of annoying. Ooh, some data moshing. Beautiful. A lot of pressure. Good target focus. Again, all he's doing is, all he wants to do is put pressure on things, like, do a little bit of damage, because the amount of damage D.Va does at, like, this kind of distance, right, it's just, like, nothing. But it's just building up some ult charge, causing, like, it's, it feels oppressive when you're, like, you're just constantly taking damage from something. It's kind of just annoying and constantly in the back of your mind. And then he's just diving in, ready to jump on things, and it beautiful isolate. Incredible. Right, this, this is literally the game plan for, like, 90% of this, this comp. 
It's isolate someone with the May and kill them. Standard. What was Houston's wall doing? Just out of curiosity. Um, I think it was just there to try and block some down. He blocked a Lucio. Good. Good. I love it. I'll, yep. That's the one that you need to stop. Lucio. Oh, now he's blocked himself in. Beautiful. Very big concern going forward is the May. May is currently probably the most important hero in the meta. So seeing mistakes from May's not not a good symbol, not a good sign going forward. I would say. Let's see what they do. Okay. Gonna go in through May. Go to the point. No. Oh, like Ross. So all Raw is doing here, by the way, is he's able to like peek around the corner. You can see around corners like this. Uh, so he can peek down there, completely safe, and then he's ready to like deflect on main. Okay, full engage. Nice early wall. Does block off the nano and a parry. So they just back away. So may wall go through the enemy may wall if it's perpendicular to it. I don't think it does actually. Oh, dead eyes. Beautiful eat from Mako. Poor Mako. I mean, this is just kind of greedy from Stratus. I think he was just like hoping for it to work. Good May Wall to block off the the Dead Eye as well. Good start. Oh, rushed it. I mean, you can kind of see, and like this is just good play. This is more good play out of Raw than something bad out of Muma, I would say, where Raw like sees it and gets the the turn towards it just in time. To get the block. Still, hydration. Blizzard time. Let's go. Hydration is the most important person on the map at the moment because he has a blizzard. And he's fighting a 2v1. Oh, oh, it looks like they got it. They're doing it. They're doing it without the blizzard. Oh my god. Win conditions. Like, let's, let's talk win conditions. Let's talk win conditions for these team comps in particular because they're pretty much a mirror. Uh, this, is, this is a complete mirror. Yeah, this is a complete mirror. Um, very much oriented around the May walls. Like, isolate, capture, kill, basically. Blizzard is 100% a huge factor for it. Basically, try and catch, like, a Rhine or something out of position. Toss the Blizzard, put Freeze on him, and he'll instantly lock up. You'll see Reinhardt try and react to it by, like, instantly charging, for example. It doesn't work if the May also freezes. If it's just Blizzard alone, you can actually charge out of it. But if the Freeze as well, you can't go anywhere. So you're just going to get ruined. Corey, Ooh. revealed himself. So they, they know he's up here. They know he can be on high ground. They know that you know he's he's over there. No, no, caused a lot of pressure. Bit of a spotty wall. Anna died. How did how how? Fell over on the side over here. Did Corey just run him down? I'm guessing Corey just ran Anna down. Yep, Corey's just. Going on a mad flank. You can't see him. He's behind where I am right now. He's going, like, he's just running down the stairs to go for this Ana. Uh, which I think is actually really clever. I think that's really clever. I think that's really good, actually. Uh, the reason being is because, well, this this is almost like a feint. This is almost like a distraction. It's like, look at me. I'm Reinhardt. Oh, yes. I'm so big and muscly and powerful. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to fuck you up. Ha, ha. Deal with me. And then just the... The McCree just sneaks into the back and just kills the main healer, no problem. And then from this point onwards, it's just like, well, they, they're they down all healing. Oh, lost you, Lucio. Not really that big a deal. Oh, no. Oh, hydration. It's the second time we've seen... And even if she landed... Well, even if hydration, I generally refer to like the current agendas. Even if he landed that, I don't think it would actually be very good. It's over here. It'll probably be like here. Well, every, like Stratus is over here, Raw's over here, Corey's over here. You you get the Ana. Are you sure? But you've already just kind of lost the fight. Also worth mentioning, Stratus has now used two blizzards in the time it's taken hydration to use one. Oh, 
Own goal playing around Corey. Always, always good to see. Like, it's no shock to see Washington Justice actually play a lot around Corey. Like, if they can put resources into Corey, they will. 100% um, the correct decision. When you want to substitute Brigham for Lucio and Anna in this matter? Uh, the, so it's honestly, I'd say it's more of a stylistic choice of like what you want to do. The issue with playing, um, I think, why they went. I mean, we actually need to look at that of why they were playing Brigitte Lucio, because I think the intention with Brigitte Lucio is like you can run onto them and they can't just outrun you. Because the the scary thing, if you don't have the Lucio and they do have a Lucio, is they can just run away. Um, so you, you've got to do that sort of thing when they're cornered or when they can't run away from that. So it's going to be more like payload maps and things like that, I imagine, is when you're probably going to be trying to do something like that to try and get them off the payload. The honor, I think, is just it's a little bit more of a stylistic thing, although I think, especially in the small corridors here, it's the nano Reinhardt that they're more playing around. And like the, the nano boost is the bigger factor. Baptiste is more useful if you're going to be playing something more like uh, with an Orisa. Orisa plus Baptiste is incredible damage. And it's very, very good. And Houston very split at the moment. Again, just these weird walls. Like, they're not really doing much. Shield's gone. But this, like, here's the thing, right? It's not just like, oh, they, they blew up his shield. It's like, Mooma's playing very aggressively here. Aggress aggression, 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 aggression. Shield's up, because he has to put his shield up right now, right? He's out in no man's land. Like, the nearest cover he has to walk back and get to. Which, this, this in, like, pro-level play is a long fucking distance. Or he has to go, like, all the way this way. So he's out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, they're all just going to focus his barrier down. Like... Blaze is completely under control right now. Mecho is not pressuring anything. Hydration's, like, lagging behind. This wall does nothing. And then it's just like, yeah. Uh, Muma now has no barrier. Bop. Gone. And now the barrier's gone, it's just like, ho-ho, well. We can do whatever we like. Like, our barrier's fine. We're all still over 50% health on his barrier. Great protection on Corey as well, by the way. Let's just want a McCree duel. I, I, are you sure about that, champ? I don't think Blaze got to do much of anything. Put him control of the white stairs. Oh, while he was trying to gain control of the stairs, Moomo was pushing the point and dying on his own. Not really the situation you want. Crossed objectives. They don't know where they want to go, how they want to push. Tanks not defending themselves properly, or other people properly. May that doesn't, that just seems to throw out random walls and goes, yeah, that will do it. That, that's fine. Rokas is in. Okay. So yeah, the sim, just with the TP. I actually kind of like this this TP as well. Pop. Let's go to the high ground. Very nice. And again, lovely wall, lovely pull as well. Like just all very, very coordinated, very precise. Like it's just a tiny bit off. If this was just a little bit more flush of the wall, I think this would have been a brilliant split. But yeah, very clear identification of hey, we know our win condition, right? And it's not just like oh. Corey is our win condition, right? That would just be one-dimensional and boring. No, 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 no. They, like, Mooma's got no hit points. They're just going to keep pressure on him. Mooma goes for a charge. Oh, look. Does get the trade. I think he actually literally charged into Elivote. Oh, Blaze, doing it. Doing it. They're doing it. No. Nope. Nothing left to contest Corey. Oh, right, yeah, this is just like, I do like Corey's teabagging afterwards, it's just like, yeah, come at me, fuckers. <laughs> just try it, try it! Like, it's about time when your Lucio's the one trying to contest this, because your Diva's trying to play main tank. 
Because, hey, one team has an Arisa to fall back on, one team has a D.Va. That, that doesn't quite go as well. Washington just playing unified except for the Widow, which, yeah, 100% correct. And now this is the scary moment because Corey is a terrifying Widowmaker player. And I love the setup here. Like, they're, they're all ready to go. They know exactly what the, how they want to hold this. They're just saying, hey, yeah, try it, try it. Come on down, try it. We've got, like, literally everyone is arranged just waiting. And they try it. Raucous is going to die. <laughs> oh, just uh, watch the Raucous versus Elevote in the background. Just watch the sleep dart. Please, please work. Oh, no. Oh, no. The fortify. Oh, no. Dead. Feels bad, man. Uh, <laughs> not much you can really do about that. Uh, there goes what you're healing. Just peeling. Beautiful. It's it's very difficult to contest point A. Like I'm trying to think of, do Houston even bother with this? Like, what was the positive of doing this, or of trying this? Like if they get it, then you can kind of hold from this position, right? It's not impossible, but the entire principle, I suppose, of the comps being played lately is to like pull apart your comp and to stagger your aggression, to like control the the flow and the pace of the game. So you have things like Maywalls, Arisa Holtz, um, Immortality Field, Reinhardt just being, you know, a big brick. Uh, all of that is to like try and slow things down. This is why you'll often see stuff like Maywalls being used to counter Maywalls, because it kind of just stops the game up for a little bit longer. Mecha kind of went on an adventure there, I think. Did Mecha just not know where he wanted to be? No, he's, he's kind of getting there. He just saw a glimpse of him on the right side. He's just trying to get like all the way around to Corey, but Corey's just... Leading him on a merry chase. I don't think Corey cares that much. And Washington Justice are like they're finding a weak point, and then it's not even like they're all going for the weak point. It's like Elevote knows that he can win on a one v one with his cooldowns up. He d he knows that that's just very achievable, very doable, very simple. So he just goes for it. Raucous just ends up split off for no clear reason. Yeah, taking ground. So far, so standard. Absolutely what they want to do, like, trying to control this doorway. They're just going to drop to the point. Yeah, just go straight to point. Ark doesn't care. And you, they don't really want to drop down because that's just going to flip the map on them. Like, that's not really that useful. So now they're stuck. Okay, charge out. Great pivot. Still gaining ground on the payload. Like, no actual progress. So this is what I mean with like, if you catch the Reinhardt, like Blizzard plus the the free stack is just so it's impossible to get out of. Like there's a halt, there's the free stack, there's even an Earth Shadow coming out of Raw. Like we got gotcha. you, we got gotcha. you, we know we got gotcha. you. And the issue with stuff like this Antinade is if this was like a you know a Reaper comp or something like that, this Antinade might be huge, but because you're left with like May uh, Hanzo, I suppose, can do quite a bit of damage. It's just like nothing's nothing's hitting anything. Where is Hanzo? Where is Hanjoke? He's he's dueling Widow over on the opposite side of the map. Which I'm sure Corey is 100% fine with doing, and he just punched him to death and he lost anyway. Omega lol. Sound barrier. No, it's just an uncontested widow. Blizzard, sound barrier. Okay, they got resources back, I suppose. They're still, like, in massive disadvantage. Surprise! <laughs> Parked him on some of that nicely. Bye, May. Here's the thing. It's like, during scrims... Surely this kind of situation, alright? Let's talk about like how these teams practice. You've practiced using scrims, okay? 
scrims, 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 scrims. And the, the entire point of scrims is to like identify points where you're weak or points that you know you your team isn't confident in what they want to do, and establish like little plans, little game plans for how you want to address various phases of the map. So surely in scrim in Junker Town, losing phase one and like losing phase one at the door probably has happened quite a bit, um, right? It, I'm sure it's occurred. So surely Houston have some idea of how they want to do a retake. Because to me it feels like they have half a plan and then there's no plan past a certain point, right? The plan is, okay, we'll go to high ground and we'll we'll go to the, like, the bridge and we'll go to the little room here. Nice. Good start. And now they just, they freeze. It's like they don't know what they want to do. Moon wants to go and fight the, the Washington Justice and I think the Washington Justice are absolutely fine taking that fight because the payload's moving. Echo contests the payload a little bit and then runs away from the Lucio to get the health pack. Contests the payload a little bit. Like, this This is fine. Yeah, you force the rotate. Okay, good. Slow it down. Now, okay, now they want to take high ground. So yeah, there's a plan. Now what? You got high ground. You got your objective. This is what they... Everything they did up to this point has been in aid of taking high ground. Right? They run in here. They use the diva to bait the point and force a response so some people drop down and then as people drop down they push in. Okay. Ding. Gold star. Good stuff. And now uh, Moomba drops down. Okay. And he's just gang banged. And 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 Roar is, is just... Roar is, like, running back up manually. And being blocked up by hydration. Raucus is the only person dealing with, like, the main fight here. Bla Blaze has gone somewhere. Um, he's over here somewhere trying to fight the Widowmaker. Trying to contest the Widow. Surely that's Mecho's job. Sure. It's, it's like the... Trying to deal with everything that isn't... The fight... And so they deal with nothing. And because they're not the greatest players, Blaze just loses to Corey. Hydration kind of stopped Raw from doing what he wanted, but then Raw just comes out the front door anyway, because, hey, they're pushing the payload, so they're just fighting here now. And then Raucus is just left horrendously out of position again. I don't mean to sound like Styloza here, but what's the plan? Is the plan kill everyone on the payload, or is the plan hunt everyone else down? Because if the plan's kill everyone on the payload, then everyone should be fighting on the payload. If the plan's hunt everyone else down, then you should use like a diva or something to, to stall the payload, surely. You don't use a Reinhardt, who's kind of all in by his very nature. Reinhardt can't leave places quickly. He has to charge to try and get out of places, and that doesn't really work well. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this run. Reason bullying supports is not something you see too much. It's terrifying when it happens, though. And you have no Risa just bearing down on you. I mean, it's one of the most satisfying things to do with a Risa is just to put that gun in someone's throat and just fire. It's, it's a thing of beauty. Okay. Third point. Terrifying point with a Widowmaker uh, involved. At pro level, at least. On ladder, I'm less scared of the Widow. It's beautiful Contessa high ground. Okay, again. What's the plan? You got uh, half the team's fighting on the point. No one's contesting Corey. Half the team's still fighting for high ground. Great sleep dart from Raucus. Pick something. Just pick one thing for me. Raucus left with no bar- uh, not Raucus. Oh, oh, oh. Muma left with no barrier again, and so uh, has to hide, and so... The reason why he's left with no barrier, like, I'm trying to, like, dial it back and, like, w figure out, like, where this is all going wrong. The reason why he's been left with no barrier is because he's stuck on his own fighting on the payload. Lazay does win the sniper duel at the very least, but, yeah, by this point, Raw just knows he's got free fire. And losing that Ana, like, <laughs> Lucio's not healing all this. Let's put it that way. There better be some goddamn great swaps coming. 
heart health for the, the moment justice. by hydration alone, but outlaws are still just... I mean, sure. Okay. The the stall kind of worked, I guess. But you got nothing for for the end, and you're going to just slowly die here. And the stall is now just kind of stall yourself. Stratus just casually taken out of the sightline. Uh, has Corey come back on a different hero? That's kind of a, a question worth asking. Yep, yeah, coming back on the Hanzo. I love it. So you know what? I, I will actually agree. I would say that the coaching just seems kind of... ...lacking in terms of like, they don't seem to have a clear plan. That's a beauty of a nade, but wouldn't, wouldn't a Dragon Strike be cool now? Dragon Strike would be real cool right now. Like the, the pressure back, just put that extra pressure on. Beautiful. Only gets Jex a bit, honestly. That's all they needed. Like, they just need to keep momentum going. Just robs them of any forward force. That's actually a good pull. Tries to save, uh, tries to save the poor stunned person, but again, staggered. Like it's just a losing battle. Everything is a losing battle. Why do I open up my YouTube and the first thing the list is start saying I watch Netflix? Is leaked because there was a leak not that long ago about an animated series for Diablo and for Overwatch being in the works. Uh, I imagine if they are in the works, they're probably very much in pre-production and probably I would be very surprised if they end up going anywhere. Do you want to know why you see Sty uh, first thing saying Netflix is leaked? Because a lot of people are clicking on that video. YouTube knows that you like Overwatch related things, and it's a very popular Overwatch related thing. So YouTube's gone, oh, you might like this, and then it's put it on the front of your. Uh, it's put it on the top of your thing. Okay. Widow on the defense. No widow on the offense. I'm going to Diva at least. Diva can contest the widow a little bit. I mean, yeah, this this is an awkward situation. Like the cast just kind of mentioned it, but Lynx of Wars, I believe, meant to play today and is you know very unwell, so isn't that? Again, these walls, like it kind of holds them, but not really. Okay, but their barriers are going to last longer. Like you can see Roar is not scared. Again, these walls. Like, they, they had an opportunity here, right? Like, this, this, the pressure here is not completely off. Like, Moomus has a lot of barrier, Roar has none. This wall a little bit better, you could get results. Pressure a little bit better, you could get results. But Stratus just does such a good job of just like, Running forward while Raucus is running back. Look, Serratus is just in there. And then the May wall ends up hindering them. And scoop retreating by the Justice as well. The thing is, YouTube defaults to the home feed, and the home feed actually doesn't show you that much from your subs, which is very annoying. As someone who has a lot of subs, uh, but they probably don't watch a lot of what I do, it's very irritating. Like, and I, I use my subs feed more than I use the homepage. But YouTube's, YouTube's a shit fest. At uh, the best of times. I don't like that sleep dart. Uh, actually, I don't mind it. Like, you can see where the Widow is, sure. Just go for it. Should be okay. Okay. Like, yeah, they... This, what, what, what are you expecting? What, what are you expecting? <laughs> What's the plan? What's the goal? No shit, they just run away. What year is it? This isn't Beyblade meta. You don't get like a fucking movement speed buff. Oh look, now he's horrendously out of position, fighting for a... 
<laughs> the, the signs of a desperate man if I ever seen if I've ever seen one. Uh, I guess it just gets up just in time, but man, that's that. Yeah. This is the exact combo I'm talking about. That's a beautiful demonstration of it, right? Look how fast Moon was freezing. Pop! <laughs> what? I want kind of like the starting point of the freeze. Right? I think it's like... Yep, so now... Okay. So he's getting frozen from now. Frozen. <laughs> Just like... What? In the time it took him to start charging, he's frozen. There's nothing he's going to be able to do. The Outlaws icon on Night Team. Oh boy, yeah. Looks great on my screen as well. Use Light Theme? Oh my god, it's bad for your eyes. Look, d there's a reason why DOS is a black background with white text. It's much better for your eyes. Night mode is so much better for, like, everything. Yeah, it's so- it's so weird, like, I- It's just- it's very strange to me, like, this guy is meant to be a fucking, you know, three billion hour main tank player. And his plan is... Yeah, it does- it feels like Rock has panicked. And just nanoed him just to like go, oh, I don't want you to die. Honestly, I don't think he needs to panic this hard. I think Moomba still has a lot of shield. The Diva's right there. This isn't a team, like, Washington's team comp can do a good bit of burst damage, but it's going to be kind of be hard to do on a Reinhardt. Mecho's there, peeling for him as well. He's got the May there, peeling for him. Uh, like he, you know, in fairness, he starts the the cast, and there's no barrier. But the the clue there is there's no barrier, which means that Orisa probably has hers. So it becomes a huge gamble. And like the, I appreciate the cast like putting the positive spin on it. Of we saw a, such a great disengage from the Washington Justice, but it's like they literally had miles and miles of open field to run around in. Right, you're not Moomer is not the Dothraki horde. You can fight him in an open field. Oh god, that's not me. That's the the player. Oh, ooh, lovely data machine. Yeah, Corey's just gonna free farm. Like, not, not even the D.Va can do something here. Oh, we've got a Blizzard. In again. Raw got frozen. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I won't blame Moomer for this one. This is, like, hashtag just Reinhardt things. Bop! <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sad I didn't get that into the meme video. Fuck me. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, come on. That would have been a kill, too. <laughs> Reinhardt. Oh, Reinhardt. <laughs> so, this Deadeye... This is coming to you from a McCree who has no tanks in front of him and knows that there is a Widowmaker somewhere in this field. So he's just doing it. It's like the world's shyest Deadeye because he's just in a corner. It's like, ah, oh, please, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me, anyone. It does, like, it buys him space to retreat into? Except Muma doesn't retreat, so he just dies. Oh, no, he. Oh. Really like the Mario sounds? I like the Mario sounds, they're fun. Complete idea, completely unshamelessly stolen off a Dragon Ball Fighters video maker called Arjun. He does a lot of sort of Mario sounds, punch sounds, stuff like that, and it's very funny. I find it very funny. 
range on Blase. Blase's not a Widow player, so he can't score. Uh, right. Notice the difference, okay? I want to point out the difference here of, like, they have engaged, they have moved into an area where the only escape is, like, this way or this way. They can maybe try run this way, but it's probably not the best idea. And, oh, look, Nano Boost runs in, and look, he's in. Stratus is there freezing in. Muma's response is to, to counter-aggress. It's a great wall, actually. I don't know how intentional it was, but work wonders, and Moomer's dead. Fantastic wall, splits off the armor. Blaze just being completely superfluous. Um, Blaze can't, literally cannot play here. Like, he can't, he, the moment he stands here, he has to be so scared of Corey. Like, they need to make sure Corey is dead, and then Blaze can actually start playing the game. I actually kind of want to watch. I wish I could, you know... I don't know if it is on the, the viewer yet. I imagine it's not. I'm actually just going to check, just in case. Just in case. Just in case they've done something sensible. I highly doubt it. Because uh, I believe, for some reason, despite Overwatch League games only being on the weekends, they only seem to go onto the player after Monday, which is completely unacceptable. Uh, yep. Yep, that's all last week's. Good shit. Good job, Blizzard. Good job. Now somehow this map goes further. So I want I want to see something glorious. Early votes back in Mech. Mecho quite far forward. I guess Blaze just wants to try and do something, and Mecho's just desperately trying to like keep some sanity going. Oh, caught the diva. Hey, I like this path. I really like this path for them. Like that was that was a nice push. Good job. Like they all got through the door. They weren't walled off. Hopefully, yep. Yeah, Raucus is through. Okay. Like using the outhouse for cover. This is all good. So far, so good. Hey, you got a plan. Look, Raw's taking a lot of damage. It's a good split off the Rhine. Muma doesn't just, like, engage super hard. Oh, you don't get to play. But, oh, look, healing comes through. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look, his team's playing around him. Look, if Muma isn't charging off on his own and just, like, completely playing independently and his team plays around him, suddenly, suddenly it works. Suddenly, like, he's engaging on people who are engaged. Already, this is looking like a really Ooh. bad situation for them in terms of time bank. They're ready to drop down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spicy. Find one before first one to drop. Spot what's wrong in this picture. Spot. Spot the thing that is like completely. Completely unnecessary. Aim God didn't go down the car, and that's not it. Aim God getting a kill is fine. Aim God's stuck on like the other side of the planet. That's okay. He can't do anything. There's no way he's getting there. the The real issue is that a Reinhardt has dropped onto the point alone, and the reaction is to Nano Boost when they are so far behind. They need as much as possible, and. Oh my god, it's a Reinhardt! He's stuck in a corner! Oh, we got we got May McCree and Reinhardt, what do I do? I'm going to nano boost him? I... Wait, Raucus was shot? I... Was he shot before or after he ulted? No, he ulted and then got shot. So it's not like he panicked that, oh, I'm gonna die, so I'm just gonna use it. Just in case. Infrasight, real nice actually here. This is going to be really irritating. My question is, where's Aim God? Yeah, like, <laughs> what's Aim God up to at the moment? Okay, they they will go hunting down with like a diva. Raucus is dead. Oh, 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 no, oh. <laughs> how's he alive? 
He survived. <laughs> no. No. So like half of Washington jumped down to go and like play extract the old lady. She's gone on walkabouts and she's like been found in her slippers half what, three miles away from home. How? No! No! I don't think they even intended that to be a fight! They just wanted to get Arna and get out, like... Oh, we'll see if it works, and then Houston would just so, like, scramble, they didn't know what to do. Oop! Oh. Okay. Wall. Why counter-engage into that? Did he lose his blizzard? He just, he didn't, his blizzard got cancelled. I think he was literally stunned before it came out. So he used it and it was as if it was eaten. I don't understand why they want to engage, like why his reaction to this situation is blizzard. Because he's got his cooldowns. If he's the only one trapped, he's fine. Muma also is, is kind of stuck. Okay, that's kind of a nightmare situation, but... Like, he's he's okay. Mecco's there, saving him. And it's like, okay. Like, this is fine. You're okay. Just, like, you know, block it up. Wall. Like, you got your ice block available. You didn't even need to use it. They just toss an ice block here. So, but they just, like, throw everything into a fight that Washington... Like, this is going to plan to Washington. That's that's the thing that gets me about this, right? Washington's plan was simple. Catch them in the choke point with a May Wall, and then Blizzard if we need it. They catch him, and then he's Blizzard. He just uses Blizzard, like, kind of fearlessly, because he knows the, the D.Va isn't there or won't reach through the wall, so hey, it's fine. So look at May's little face. Hydration's response is to just... Like, there's literally a defense matrix on our screen. So even if he did get it off, I think it might have been eaten. It's very strange. It's just... Okay. I mean, they're back to saving Private Raw now. Oh! Oh! I think they're getting away with this literally because Washington just started memeing. <laughs> like they're actually, I think they're kind of fine taking the fight down here. It's when this charge goes through and like, even the sound barrier is kind of okay. But then it's just like, uh, fuck, do everything. And they just get a little bit over eager and leave themselves a little bit exposed and that's that's gonna cost you. Why didn't Jackson just push the payload? Because if they kill like if he doesn't if no one pressures Corey, Corey can kill everyone. Uh you you have someone on Widowmaker at all times at this level. Like if Jexer isn't there, um Rook has just died. And then there's a good chance that like Blaze dies and then Muma dies and then everyone dies. Like Uncontested pro level widow is lose like it's a losing condition. And the gun they die on the payload. All of that fighting, all of that fighting, and they've just got moving. There's another fight coming. So I remember the, the fated words that are about to come. Here to straight up win the map and head into match point. They can look for a shatter engage. They've got all the cards in their hand. And Houston, need a miracle. Houston, need a miracle. I remember watching this live and hearing that and just thinking, like, 
yeah. <laughs> they, they need more than a miracle. They need... <sighs> they need more... They... They need a bullet at this point. Make some changes to this team. And then, yeah, like... Again, same... Exactly the same situation as last time. Like, what's the plan, guys? What's What's the plan? Except this time, there wasn't really a great baiting down to the low ground. Moomer gets split off. Oh look, Washington execute on their plan. Split the tank. Kill the tank. And then play from there, basically. Do you think Ark plays like a stat saver? No. Uh, I wouldn't say like I've watched him enough to, to identify that. But... It would be a weird thing for, like, especially someone on Lucia to do. Come on, why is this two minutes long? Alright, that's the end of that. That's why that's two minutes long. Well, sorry, bump the microphone. Come on. I think Raucus tends to look lost, let's put it that way. But Repel seems to maybe, like, from the little we've seen of him, seems to suffer from the same issue slightly, so maybe it's just, again, a coaching issue. The crew is obviously useless, there's nothing else that Blaze could play. Probably not against Corey's Widow, is my suspicion. Um... It, it depends on his hero pool. Like, if he could play Doomfist, maybe if he could play Reaper. Like, I wouldn't play Reaper on that map, though. Like, it's just too far away. The distances are too great. There's no way you're getting it. Maybe you can get it working if you, like, teleport next to the Widow. Like, there, there are options, but... Not good ones. And I'm guessing he's just more comfortable on McCree, so it's just like... This is the team comp that we practiced, and so we're just gonna stay on this. And that tends to be the mentality of pro teams. Like, they pr they've clearly played this setup a hell of a lot, and so they're just gonna keep playing that setup. Okay. Standard Kings Row. Outlaws coaching staff said everyone was sick ill. I know. I saw the tweet. I'm gonna find it. It's uh, His name is... Stream... Casts? No, Dream Overwatch. There it is. Dream. Like, he did He did own up to it like a second or two later and was like, hey, yeah, it's it's not like... Uh, Sorry to our fans for our performance this weekend. Our players and staff had bad condition. Many of us have the flu and still did not play at our best. Don't mean to use team illness as an excuse at all. The team was not adequately prepared and that is on the coaching staff. Please don't blame the players... Uh, they were sick and did not have the right game plan. We know what to fix for next week and we're ready to bounce back. And it's like, how do you not have the right game plan? They're playing the right comp. The game plan for this comp isn't complicated. It's it's not like it's an intricate level of mind games with goats. I'm sure there's some levels of mind games with the May walls, but... And like, you know, decisions whether you want to engage or not. And I'm sure there's, there's some very intricate stuff that you could probably get out of these, but... Look, that's the game plan. Notice the best part about this game plan as well is if they use their wall and fuck up, you're then free to use your wall for a couple of seconds and they can't stop you because they don't have a wall to block momentum, so then you can go and do whatever you like. Diva takes the high ground. Been seeing this quite a lot. Identifies the vulnerable target and dives it. Okay, losing people in the back line. Roars off on, on a jolly. Hey, they're playing together. They're doing it. They're doing it! They're doing it! They're playing together! He's actually really good, having the, the diva stuck. I'm amazed that he bothered killing her. It's it's honestly, it's in poor taste of like, especially after such a bad performance to just go, Oh yeah, we're ill by the way. It's like, even if you are ill, you, you've got to be very careful phrasing something like that. I guess it's something for the fans to try and hold on to, but it's not as if it if it, if Houston were like a top five team and they had a really bad performance in the opening week and they were like, oh, we're ill. You can, that I can kind of see, but they've consistently underperformed. This isn't a new thing with the Outlaws. Like 
they've generally been considered as having some decent players and having some good potential on the team and then not manifesting. So again, simple game plan. Okay. Battle of the Gods. So yeah, all the control comes out. So this is the effect that May has on the game, right? And this is why I put out the tweet of like, man, it's going to be so cool when May is gone. Pun intended. Uh, and com pun completely intended, May has a chilling effect on the game, right? She slows the game down. Where it's like, beautiful sleep dart. Oh, this is going to be a huge charge. No, nope, blocked. There's a May wall up, so half the line of sight is blocked. People are getting frozen, so they, they can't move properly. So no one can actually move when they need to go. Deadeye's buying even more space, right? Everything is just applying the brakes, and then suddenly Cerritus finds the skill on Hydration, because Hydration's stuck. Is that wall? Oh, that's so good. Actually, shout out to Stratus for this wall. Completely blocks any line of sight. So Hydration is just stuck. Um, I imagine the armor, like, we can't pan around and see, because they don't have the fucking thing on the player. Um, but yeah, they, they can't see so no healing no healing for you join me in glory huge kill because now they can do whatever they like like losing that maze is huge i also appreciate this by the way with mecco it's kind of hard to see with the bit rate, but woo 360 no scope baby ward on one side go on try it oh is that a sleep dart? No, we all just got hit by it. So that. They almost denied it. I mean, and then the eat on the, the blizzard as well, but Corey's just shooting people. <laughs> Corey's on a high ground. Look. Jeez. This is why I mentioned in the previous one, you have someone contesting the Widow. Because if he's doing this on the Kree, like... The McCree play that we've been seeing this season so far has been spectacular. I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. It's twisted irony too, Achilles. So that was perhaps Muma's best and most successful shatter of the series. It's twisted irony that that was Muma's best and probably his greatest shatter in his life, but it's just gets completely ruined by the uncontested McCree just clicking on people. He's literally just standing still. Corey is playing aim training while everyone else plays a map of King's Row. I mean, it's just absolute domination we're seeing here right now for Justice again. Gorgeous start, uh, start here as Blase is... I have enjoyed the, the Justice's story of being, like, completely worthless until Goats went away and suddenly it's like, oh, no, they, they can actually play the game. It's quite fun. It's quite fun when you have teams that can play the game. Um, cracker of a Maywall. Hydration, your Maywall. Where is it? Split it. Split the aggro. Stop the aggro. Stop the aggro. Deny the aggro. De de deny the... Deny the aggro. Stop the push. Any time. But... I'm, I'm looking for Maywalls. We're searching far and wide. Keep, keep your eyes peeled. Where is it? Any second now. Go. Go. The ice blocked. I need a big green Maywall. I don't see a big green Maywall. It's fluorescent fucking green. You'd think I'd be able to see it. Hello? Like... Like, it's not a subtle engage. You know, they nano and charge in. It's it's not complex. They wall, nano, and charge. Your response needs to be wall and slow the game down. So then you guys can react to it somehow. An anti-heal. Oh, it's a beauty as well. Hydration panics. Everyone's alive on the Outlaws. Everyone's alive on the Outlaws until right now when everybody dies.
Moomer's caught in the charge. No, Moomer's, Moomer's not caught in the charge. Moomer is backing away in sheer butt-clenching terror from from the force of the blast. I'm guessing he's still stunned. He's asleep. Okay, no, he slept. I'm looking at the the top right. Yeah, he gets slept there and then left, and then the charge wakes like puts him in the standing animation, but he's actually being knocked back while in a wake up animation, I guess. And so that's why that works. It's almost like Washington Justice are layering crowd control on top of each other in a very powerful way. Hydration needs to work on his May quite badly. On the bright side, a lot of footage this like <laughs> over the last two weeks of people playing May. Okay, retake. You got space. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of worked. Okay, I want to point out Justice again. Have a plan. Hydration just kind of puts a wall up. Um, he's blocked the Lucio. I guess. Justice, Stratus, walls, and then Blizzard's behind it. Uses the wall as a vehicle to get the, the blizzard out. Thank you, AC Surfer. This Project A, I wish. I got down wish. The dirty secret is by the time the Project A comes out, I will be a master of making stupid meme videos. Is this Project A? Progress. 39 months. It's a long gosh darn time. Oh, See, this is this is where the why you bully me clips are so useful. Come on, I want to see some proper diva bullying. Uh, I guess he's on ninety five percent. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine. Why you bully me? It's so useful. It's so useful. It's such, it's such a good thing to have. Is playing extremely greedy right now. They do push him back, and now the okay. justice approach finally is actually for the first time really difficult against the outlaws fortified. <laughs> I want to point out what the caster has just said, probably unintentionally. Uh, he probably meant the first time on this map, but finally is actually for the first time really difficult against the outlaws fortified position. Look at where Blase is standing. They push for the first time. For the first time in the middle of map three is actually going to be a really difficult push. And if anyone just steps across the line, so much damage is going to come out here. There's the chase from Ellie Boat. He's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that's so good. I love. Uh, I just love the like. You know, all oh, oh, we're going. We got to get to the payload, guys. The payload's what matters. The payload. So fuck the payload. We're going this way. We're going to the pub. That's where we're going. Forget everything else, that's where we're off. Get a few drinks in. And Houston follow them. And I think that's a mistake, because I think... They just kill Moomer! What's this wall from hydration? Like... If they want to stand in there, let them stand in there. What fucking difference does it make? It's like they ran away from the payload and Justice were like, we, uh, it's not Justice, Houston Outlaws were just like, we can't allow that. We can't let that happen. Thirty nine months that I bet he doesn't know uh your name is James. I could probably find your last name as well if I really wanted, but I'm not going to right now because that would just be quite rude. 
Jexay is going to have to help out even, and I just don't see that happen. You can see Jexay just to the right of your screen. Elevote's going to try to nudge this bomb, it looks like he's not even looking <laughs> Peace out. Like, <laughs> off, being fair, off-colored oh, calls you James, screen. so Elevote's blame off-colored for that. Uh, right. I bet you don't know my real name. As far as situations go, not the end of the world for the Houston Outlaws. Hanzo, fine with that swap, especially like against the Widow here. I'd actually prefer the Hanzo. Oh, 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 we got some walls. We got some spicy walls. We got some good walls. Oh, oh, counter engage. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ark is having a good time. Okay, how did that go so wrong so quickly? It's like, oh, this is good. Good job. Even okay with that nano boost? Like, sure. And then I think it's the engage into the blizzard. I don't think Muma had a choice here. I think he just has to charge forward. I don't know what Jex is doing. Or how you pronounce his goddamn name. Like, Mecho's on Corey, and your Lucio is memeing in the back line, which, I mean, that, that is Lucio. He just, he just dies 2v1 in the, the enemy back line. At 95% of ultimate charge as well. Interesting time to take a big risk um, when you're like at 90% of your ult charge and there's some tanks to shoot at. I'm getting, maybe you wanted to like try and get behind some tanks and like boop them into Muma, but I, I'm trying to just like fathom the what's going through his brain. He's over here. He can test the high ground from Elevoit. Great, I like it. Even boops Elevote like, like into Muma. Sure, fair enough. Now he's over on the left side. Now he's just over here. What? No. Because here's the thing, this isn't an unwinnable position. Like, they're, they're, they're like fairly even in terms of like what's alive. Sound barrier to slow this down, and suddenly you know you're you're cooking with jet fuel. Now you're just boned because you've just given up all space because Corey now has three shots where he wants to be. Okay, Josh. Oh shit. Oh no, they found it. Get it such a secret. I don't know about you, but my mum always used to tell me like, "Oh, never reveal your name online," and then you kind of learn that yeah, you probably shouldn't, but like. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to give you guys my address. That'd just be terrifying. Um, I'm fine giving you my name. Again, notice a pattern. Nano boost being used when he can engage on things. When Houston physically cannot disengage or they lose the game. Seems like a good time to use it. There's the sound barrier. A little bit late, but hey. Sound barrier, Blizzard, sure. Good ults to use on defense. Nice. Whoop. Okay. Unfortunately for them, Washington Justice have enough time to get ults, so that's scary. Honestly, even if you guys knew my address, I don't think it would really negatively impact me, but just on the off chance that it might, I'm not going to give it to you. I think Grim has my address. It's just slightly terrifying. Uh, right. Yeah. That's bold. I love it. Imagine how cool it would be if this May player did anything. Like, they know that they're coming this way. Hydration, set up the wall. Set up the wall. Set up the wall. 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 Anything. No. No. There. Oh. Did it get up? Did I see it? Yep. There it is. There it is. 
No, that's not it. That's just the tail of the dragon. Sorry, that's not it. Wall. Get him. Do something for the love of God, please. They just ran through the dragon store. They just didn't give a shit. And he got a beautiful Christmas card for that. True enough. I don't know a pineapple pizza. I like pineapple pizza, so yeah. Oh. Look! Look at this! Look at this player of of the May. Look at what he does. Oh, look! Oh, there's a wall. Oh, you can't do anything. Lol. I've stopped your aggression using my using my character. Incredible. Funny text to speech. Good man. I loved it. Hilarious. Hello, Ryan. Hope all is good. I just. I despair at this team. I just. fucking despair at this team. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's how that matchup goes. Justice are just so much more focused. They know exactly what they want to do. They're prioritizing targets individually. They're working together. Stratus can play, mate. Hydration can't. Here's the thing, right? I used to avoid trying to be... Like, I used to avoid being mean and, like, giving players the benefit of the doubt and, like, avoid making very absolute statements. Well, now, like, three years into the Overwatch League, I'm going to start making some absolute statements. And Hydration cannot play May. So there's a lot that happens in this fight. So I think the cast is correct in calling out, like, this is a very early Blizzard. This is, like, a Blizzard to try and cut them off more than anything. It's a zoning blizzard. It's just like, you can't cross here. Bits come along nicely. I need to clean it up though. I need to clean up, especially down here. The only issue is this bit doesn't grow in and that drives me crazy. Uh, absolutely crazy. There's a person who only watched some of your probings. I thought Houston was a good team. I don't remember watching the Justice. Watching the Justice were trash until Goats went away. And then it turned out that Corey is actually like one of the best winner makers in the league and they can kind of play Overwatch actually kind of well. Um, <laughs> watching the Justice were a joke. Houston Outlaws are a popular team. They have some good players. They have some very popular players. And they always have an excuse or some problems throughout the entire season and they tend to end far below where they perhaps should. Uh, I'd say that's a good summary of the Houston Outlaws. For the longest time, they didn't have a Tracer player in Tracer meta, for example. Uh, and they just they generally seem behind on the meta. They were behind on GOATs. They seem behind on this meta, judging from what Dream said. <laughs> Houston. I wouldn't be a fan. <laughs> and if you are, Godspeed. Uh, yeah, a lot happens in this fight. So you've got the zoning ulti. You got the slap fight in the bottom. The slap fight in the bottom is where I want your eyes focusing because there goes Raucus. He's gone. The <laughs> Raucus just, just got rid of him. Uh, somehow, on the opposite side of the map, in a four v two, who do you think wins? Washington. Washington win. Incredible. And now Raw's free to do what he wants. Hydration's in panic mode. Hydration is booped off. Hydration tries to ult. Even if he got it off, it would have been eaten. But no, he just, he ults, you know, he installs some air conditioning for the Omnix living below this area. And now we're in full clown fiesta mode. Well, listen, we'll probably took more than a year to grow that part properly. It's it's a nightmare. It's like as smooth as a baby's ass. I hear the plan is to let my mustache get so long that it just like Fu Manchu's its way down. Just like weave it into the beard down here. The thing that made me laugh the most about this, by the way, when I was editing, was I spotted. So the kill comes in, and just watch how the the <laughs> look at the gun spin around. Woo, boy! Oh yeah, having a great time. Yeah, it's like everything that can go wrong does go wrong in this fight. 
They shouldn't be in this situation. There was another instance where Moomba was like three miles away from the rest of his team. And then this is the kibosh. Pop. Goodbye. Oh, teasing Gafara. Oh, be still my heart. Hydration has a, a decent Farah, like... It's not the end of the world. And I'm not trying to make the Outlaws fans sad here, I just have to say the honest truth. It's gonna be a mirror once again. I'm not trying to make the Outlaws fans sad here, I just gonna say the honest truth. So this is a really cool setup. I love this, by the way. So they're very clearly like trying to spot where they're going through. They don't even contest this with like a wall off or anything. They just let it happen. But that's because under my overlay, under where I am right now, yeah, I remember hydration for his fire as well. Like that, That's why I assume he's still got the good fire. It's been a while, but I assume he's still not shit at it. Uh, they got a diva here. This is diva. You can just see the barrel of a gun right where I am. Hi. Uh, and... She's just going to boop off anyone who tries to come up here. They can wall, boop, and just be completely ready for this attack angle. They have a plan. They have a plan. Look at this plan. Good damage. Get the setup. Try and contest this. Oh, look, they failed the jump, so they're going to go under. Okay, they got this high ground. Do they really want to go through this choke point? Oh, it's a good wall. It's a good wall. Meanwhile, Blaze, you really don't want to have an isolated McCree like that. That's that's kind of scary. Look at the controller. Like this, this is what you want to see. This this is the sort of the thing that I've grown accustomed to this entire weekend. Is you see one May wall pop up, so boop, and then boop. Right, and they usually just get kind of used to just almost negate each other in terms of momentum. Unfortunately, in the middle of that, hydration's kind of sandwiched and stuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of a spicy duel. Hydration's finally picked off. Oh, well, Elivo's down. Electric Cowboy. You think if any team could play an electric cowboy, it would be the Houston Outlaws. Unfortunately, Moomer has just been decimated. And, like, the team with the May alive is always going to have a huge advantage, in my opinion. She's just so gosh darn good. I know speed boost is invaluable as well as sound barrier in pro play, but how's Lucio in, sol uh, in solo queue? Do people get shit for low healing? Uh, Lucio is very good in solo queue. Like, he's just, he's useful. I don't think anyone will be too mad to have a Lucio on. Like, unless you're playing, you know, Lucio Brig uh, or something like Lucio Zen, then people might be mad, but... Lucio pairs nicely with Arno, with Baptiste, with Moira. Like, you can play him with any of them. This this is interesting. I, I really like this, though, because... Houston have kind of shown themselves to be pretty incapable of dealing with split defenses. Again, wall blizzard. Dead eye from an odd angle. And Mecco can't win the win the one v one. Oh. I like this remark actually. If they try and peek, he's ready to like boop him out. I don't think that he could risk jumping in there. Oh, nice. Oh, this this is a novel way of attacking. Hey, they they had a plan and they executed. I don't know how the fuck Moomer got there. I think he just ran, I think, from the looks of things, yeah, they, they do a May lift to try and get the Rhine up, to try and push these guys out of here, and that just gives up all the ground. Alright, they go up, and they're gonna go around, and during all that time, Houston could just run through here, just without issue. And Aimgol's just kind of like, where the fuck is everyone? Where is everyone? Help me, for the love of God, help me. 
tick. With a minute and 15 seconds remaining, Ark has... It was a weird defense. It was that lift that did it. I, they just got too upset. Like, I don't think they had to give a shit about the McCree on the high ground. It's annoying. But yeah, they just they give up all control here. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of impressive how fast they can get across the point, right? Yeah. Clean. But not clean, actually, no. Kind of the opposite of clean. Dirty. Dirty is what I want to say. Okay. Yeah, ooh, six ultis. They've got a full war chest. Big old war chest. Nice collection from the Justice. Just let's group it up. Ooh, Corey. Punish that man. Good steal of the health pack. Mecco going very deep here, though. I'd play the clown music, but it's copyrighted. I I know I need non cop non copyright circus music. It's a very trendy circus. That that's far too cool for what I want. Far too cool for what I need. There we go. That's what I need. Thank you. Like, this makes sense. And then Mecha goes deep into here for some reason. And then everyone goes to the pub, because why wouldn't you? Risky as hell, dead eye. Now they're all caught in the blizzard, because why not? Let's just put ourselves in a corner, I guess. I just, uh, uh. We need to keep that one in mind. We need to keep that track in mind. Dead Eye was used to reload. I think he actually wanted to Dead Eye until he saw the May there. I think he would have been fine holding it. Like, if he was using it to reload, he'd use it instantaneously. And I think, he, yeah, he just rolled as well. He, he doesn't need to do... He, he doesn't. It's just the May runs in and he just goes, Oh, fuck, I can't do it. I missed the Reaper Tuba. Well, the, the Reaper Tuba hasn't gone anywhere. I think that is license free. Uh, is McCree played over Reaper because of D.Va being played? So, short answer, no. Uh, McCree is paired extremely well with May, just offers you more control. Like the, the key to this meta is control. Though there have been teams playing Reaper as well, for just like more damage, more power. But especially on like maps like this, where it's just about like isolating tanks, picking off tanks, seems to be like the, the way people are playing. Yep. That poor Ana. Look at the bombs crossing. Beautiful, beautiful fireworks. Boosh! <laughs> I love Raw's patience there as well. He just stops. Just like, no. Why are they so deep? I guess they follow in under the bomb, and then they just get split by a May wall, because that's that's the meta. Meanwhile, Hydration's wall... Did we're not gonna get to see it, are we? I don't think Hydration's wall even blocks off the left side. Like as far as escape routes go, it's just he just kind of decorates. Oh, I love a splash of green here. Oh yes, that's very lovely. It's not that was using an NYXL spray. Wouldn't surprise me. It's probably Mecco, if I had to guess. He's just still got it on. 
going to grant a minute over to the side of the Washington Justice. Now, just like we saw with the Houston Outlaws, when they had that defensive point on B, they're going to keep Corey on the left okay. side. Okay. It's, not with it's fine. Saw, it's fine. That middle high oh. ground, but that just gives the Washington Justice so much time. Okay, yeah, you know where they're coming. The, you cannot push through there. There's a May. Be be reasonable. That cost them majorly in terms of time bank. Okay. Yep. Shatter there from Moon. Whoop. You can see where they're going. So saw his replay. Corey wrapping around the back with the dead eye, trying to find it. Okay. Map's been flipped. Oh yes! 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 Yes, you've done it. Been shattered. You're, you're losing. And all of that, Roar gets a double shatter there to lead into all of this. How? Like, that wall shouldn't stop this kill coming through, surely. Raw shatters two people. But the Mayfreeze, it's just the Mayfreeze on Mooma that just ruins him. Serratus just does his job. Yeah, another tweet off your Overwatch the other day from one of them. Not sure which. Probably Frito, if I had to guess, because he's what one, uh, the most interested in the pro scene. Sometimes I find some of the stuff they say a bit circumspect, but for this one, I think they're bang on the money, which is that May is being is the off tank at the moment, and I 100% agree with that sentiment. 100% agree with that sentiment. Where you've got to play it like. Like you're there to control space and to control aggression and to deny pathways, which is like very off tank things to do. Your job isn't necessarily to be like the big dick killer, it's to be, hey, you don't get to have fun anymore. Okay. Historically, this has gone very badly when it's been like Blizzard versus Blizzard fights. Okay. Justice letting them come. Burning down the clock, if I had to guess. They just want to have this fight as late as possible. They want to make sure that the outlaws are forced to be around this payload when they use this blizzard. So they just... Last possible second. Corey again going for the flank. Gets pushed out. Good. It's a great blizzard. Is that going to hit Moomer? No. Oh! Oh! Triple kill! Oh, Lucio. I love it when Lucio's light up the kill for you, because it's just like... Oh, yeah, no, he did... He totally got these kills. Totally the Lucio getting these. These bad boys. Oh, baby. Yep, Lucio, known for killing Mays and Divas. Mmm. Beautiful. How did that go so badly? I think it's... Honestly, at this point, it's not like the end of the world. It's just they get stuck in this tunnel over here for some reason. It's not like Hydration warped them. Hydration just warded himself off the point. Is he afraid of the bomb? I guess Ark is kind of around, so sure. Yeah, they just decide to go through like the smallest choke point in the game. Despite blizzarding the point as well, which like... This gives you space, right? This this buys you so much room to play in. They can easily push out here. But for some reason, Corey and Serratus just decide to go on a flank. And how it turns out is that Raw carries a nano-boosted Moomer over to the flank. And the rest is history. I direction walled off the blizzard. Uh, he walled off... Oh yeah, he did. He got it right in the middle. I still think it's more for the bomb. Okay. Mm. Okay, oh, we're gonna get to see these Lucio kills. Huge! Huge! Incredible. Look at him go. You know what? Uh, 
Actually, no, I would kind of hate it. Actually, would I hate it if Lucia got more damage? I think he'd be incredibly obnoxious, but I don't think it would be the end of the world. It would kind of be fun. I think console... Oh, console players wouldn't be able to use him, probably. Maybe. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that's, that's delicious. Look at that. Mmm. Here you are, sir. Right as you asked, one dead main tank. <laughs> Probably what people thought of the bat buffs. The, the bat buffs are kind of a weird one, because... Like, having Lucio being able to, like, fight flankers, or fight people split off from the enemy team, I kind of enjoy. It's fun, it's active, it's involved. Oh. Everyone press Q. Everyone press Q. And they still didn't win. How? What? You got the Earth Shadow. You got two people. They both died to the bomb. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, dead. There's no way. There's no way. This is turned into a Hammond. She was there one second, then there was a Hammond there the next. Just... Like, if I had to take some notes away... And the, here's, the, here's the fucking tragedy. Here's the absolute tragedy. Right? As you guys get to see my recommended feed. I highly recommend Drawfee though. Amazing channel. I love Drawfee. They're great. Um, is that like the, the first matches they had against Mayhem were worse. Right? They were actively worse. And I remember being so confused. Watching this. This shit. Like why? Yeah, I too hate the amount of healing in Overwatch, but I'm not going to, you know, play it on a professional level and go, you know what our team needs? No healing. Absolutely none. And I, I know I have been on record. 100% I have been on record of being like, of being a, probably a bit too harsh on Brigitte's healing output. It's probably not quite as bad as I make it out to be, especially in comps like this one. But it's still, it's no Baptiste, it's no Moira, it's no Ana. It's ugh. It's like they they sort of heard oh yeah no everyone's playing like these these close combat may strats. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're also gonna play brig and we're gonna try and stun tanks. Also, this is something I've noticed by the way. Just like casting tips. Um, for for casting things, uh, they the casters have been saying in the neutral a lot. That's one of my things. I say in the neutral. I talk about the neutral. That's me. I don't know whether it's just sort of permeated Overwatch fully, but I'm the one who uses the terms like the fucking neutral. Yeah, this list of shit that should not happen, but this this is literally a good example of like why Widowmaker is considered overpowered at the pro level, right? It's like there's a tank trying to counter her and it's just not working. It is worth mentioning, Brigitte did help, right? There's a Brig armor pack that comes over, and that's all that they need to do. Is Brig just tosses an armor pack, and say a player is fine. And honestly, for like Diva damage, that's gonna cut a huge amount of that damage away as well. Wouldn't Brig and Lucio be great area healing with a few packs for snap? But this the. Talk to me about flankers and people splitting off in this in this team comp. You could make an argument. Not a great argument, but you could make an argument for a team that's like Winston, Hammond, uh, Genji, Doom, and then like Lucio Brig, right? Like this this is not an untenable team comp. Um I still think like the Winston and Hammond are probably a bit too vulnerable overall. Like they, if you fuck up, you're just gonna die. But like this, oh boy, pity the team that runs into this. 
we've seen teams kind of play something similar to this. I think MYXL played something not dissimilar to this, except I think they had hands or is it the Doomfist? Um, they had something else instead of the Doomfist, and they had an Ana instead of the Brig uh, for Nana Boost on the Genjis and Winstons. Uh, but this team comp. This is a stodgy team comp. This is a team comp that wants to fight you and wants to fight people and brawl. And if Florida went Moira, and I think they do on Iconvald, it just doesn't work. On the bright side, they do like manage to catch some people out at the, the start. I put this largely down to the fact that they have the spawn right next to them, so if they do need healing, they can just heal to four if they need it. Like, there, there is a win condition here, right? If this team comp gets onto you, it can explode you. Like, if Brig lands a stun on something, that target should die. But the moment you're pulling into a longer fight, it's just not going to work. Glad you balanced out the audio for the second one. Yep, I spent a lot more time, like, working on that, making sure it was fine. I need more memes. I need memes, people. Once Mecco gets his mech back, you'll probably see the same... And he means for like, where are you going? Where the hell are you going? I also need like memes for, oh my god! Not just like the troll T1. Which I do have. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> just, just no. No. Like this, again, Florida playing the, the playstyle rather nicely, right? Slow it down. Okay. Did that actually get the May? It should, yeah. Oh, too many barriers. Too many barriers. Oh my god, friends. Oh, true. Do you have your own memes? Uh, not really, unfortunately. I'm not meme enough. The Reaper Tuber is the closest thing I have to a meme. My life is a fucking meme. Uh, uh, hmm. How? Uh, sorry, I'm I'm puzzled because I know Houston don't take a map, but they they surely they won this fight, right? They they achieved the win condition. That's what it looks like when their team works. This is a very nice situation when the ice block comes after the blizzard because she will come out during the blizzard and then just get instantaneously frozen because that's how that fucking works. But hey, look, they protect hydration. Hydration is still a lie. 80% towards towards blizzard. Lol. <laughs> Stunned? And say a player is somewhere uncontested. And that's how you lose a game. Uh, I love Sayer player. I love any, like, terrifying Widowmaker player. Interesting choice to emphasize the ultimates. Okay. It's fine, right? It's okay. Oh, whoop. You had one job. <laughs> you literally had one job how long does defense matrix last again chat is it two seconds is it two seconds or three seconds which extremely short period of time is it please inform me it's two it's two seconds i'm not a diva player yeah two seconds from start to finish there's the defense matrix one banana, two banana. Yeah, he did it halfway through the sec. Well, halfway after the first banana. It's kind of an important ultimate. Um, Behind him there, no charge. It's eaten. Gargoyle shuts down the blizzard from. 
Also, notice the weakness of, in my opinion, the weakness of Brig at the moment, which is that, well, you can't stun a Reinhardt when he just holds his barrier up if he's, like, paying any attention. It just doesn't work. So, hey, a nano boost would have been cool. Muma could have just killed him. Mecho has just been getting destroyed, like... I really like this from Florida of playing the like the brig and just ha making sure that Chris is linked up with Sire Player and just making sure that like any time that Sire Player is pressured, just save an armor pack for him, throw it to him, and he should be able to take on the the diva. That's really cool. Like as far as the setup goes, because what it means is to deal with Sire Player, you need more than just a diva. You need to have like two people. You're gonna go into Blizzard though, potentially shatter. You can buy time with walls. So this will be the yeah, this will be the infrasight here that comes from Sire players. That's so, so annoying. The outlaws, this is their fight. I mean, yeah, you got like 16 seconds. And we're gonna get this down to the wire here, and you're gonna have the nano boost blizzard shatter. <laughs> Just gonna wall off the door. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, they're not. Honestly, probably smart not to. Oh! Why didn't you leave through the doorway? Did you leave through the doorway? Did Muma not have his? No, Muma has a shield up. Where is he? He's tucked in. No, he's tucked in. It's just that Sire Player set up because Sire Player is an intelligent Winnemaker player and just blew his goddamn head off. Oh, I love the patience. The patience of this man. There's the Blizzard. The longer this goes, the more Sire player is just going to kill people. I saw Mecho going off after him a second ago. Oh, the patience of this man. Oh, oh block! Kill Mooba! Yes! Easy. I love the patience on this uh, Shadow. Like, the fact that he's just holding on to it. It puts so much pressure on Muma. Like, Muma cannot risk his barrier dropping low, because the moment it does, Florida are going to go all in to kill him. And you can see the difference between the patient tank and the impatient tank. Because the impatient tank goes, oh fuck, I'm going to die. And then just smashes it out. Because, guess what, his team has no healing. So, yeah. There's no way he survives. Karayan has held onto that ultimate for so long as well. Like, compared to how Sado been, uh, was playing, for example, and how Raw's been playing, like, they've both been very liberal with how they are Shadow. Is this finally the point? This was the point where I was losing my god mind. We're going to wrap this up in a second, but I just want to, like, look into these two games, because... The... the Brit... Okay, you don't want that. Because now they're going to stagger. Not only they lost the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just, no. Uh, and it's like, I even tweeted, you know, like, Brig Lucio is an interesting hill to die on, of like, look at the space involved in this, especially in this point. They've had plenty of time to swap off either of those heroes. All the space, all the open ground, all this open terrain. Brig Lucio. Gotta use some of those armor packs. Want to see a nice solid and get. <laughs> just the, the pause. That, like, I love the fact that this is happening right as they engage as well. That's good. Quality. It's fine. As, as long as they get used to the equipment and the setup that they have and the stage and all the, the crew working and everyone is, is used to it, I'm sure the technical problems will never happen. They get, oh wait, they move. They move constantly. So this is going to keep fucking happening. Right. He got him. He got him. It worked. I'm actually amazed. I believe during pauses they can't talk. 
I remember hearing something about that. I don't know how, like, strict it is. Maybe that's just a Counter-Strike thing. But during technical pauses, you cannot speak. You just have to, like, sit in silence. Although it looks like they are talking, so... Maybe I'm mixing up my games. Yeah, they're talking. Uh, hmm. Here's the thing. Winning that fight is great for Houston, because their team comp plays very good around, like, very tight chokes. If they can just constantly ambush people at choke points, oh my god, it's incredible. Like, they don't want the fight to go long. If the fight goes long, it's a disaster. But, but they're not contesting the choke. They, they just let them push. They're playing the open space. Oh, look, they disengage. Shock horror. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and your tanks are on the low ground, but the McCree's on the high ground. And gets ambushed? What? Did he get flashed? He's he's up here. BQB is up here. The Brig's up here, I think, actually. Did both the Brig and BQB just walk around to take the high ground from them? <laughs> Oh. Matt McCree loves his sheepy bits because he's all about them ramparts. Oh. I hate Reinhardt. What the fuck? Blizzard. Blizzard, please. How did that not stun anyone? Did he literally get no one? He literally got no one. Hydration is right in front of him. But because the floor is disconnected from this bit, it doesn't travel across here. So it just literally like hit this. I appreciate, right? I do appreciate the... The diligence, you know, it's it's an earth shatter, right? It goes across the earth, and therefore anything that's even a centimeter off the floor is not subject to the earth shatter. Let's get that law 100% accurate, boy, and it's a fucking video game, right? For the sake of consistency, please, for the love of God, just make it into a cone that's, like, yay high. Oh! Oh! Hydration with a, a, a wall that was, is marginally useful. Okay. Oh. Oh. So again, this is what they want, but. <laughs> notice, notice that Florida can execute this exact same strategy, but they're doing it with an armor. Because they know that Houston want to engage on them, and they're just fine just like going, oh yeah, sure, run into us, because we can set up chains of CC on people regardless. Oh, the crowd control. Oh, it's another good war. <laughs> oh no. Notice that, like... BQB has been beating Mecho, Sayaplay has been beating Mecho, but Gargoyles felt very effective in, like, Blaze isn't doing anything at this point, he's just terrified of this D.Va. Mecho not looking great here. Notice how unafraid BQB is, right? This is a blaze if you're running for the hills, but no, BQB's just like, no, fuck you. Like, I've got my my boys are here. Me and the boys, we've arrived. No problem. Is that a Nano May? Yes, it is a Nano May. Well shattered. Well stop them Nano May from destroying everyone, sort of. They've been dragged into a... Oh no, Raucus has SWAT. Raucus has SWAT. So being dragged into a protracted fight here is fine. Oh. 
Oh. There's the blizzard. Blaze. Oh, the wall. Beautiful. Hydration doing a lot better on day one than he was on day two. Maybe on day two I was just like, man, I miss the gladiators. Take me back. Oh man, he could have got behind the payload and broken line of sight, man, but he just got picked off. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to be able to push it straight away here for Florida. Karain actually got frozen up there, which ends up... Then there's the other bit of a shadow that hits you across a one-foot drop on a stairwell cross-section. It's... It's so, it's just inconsistent. I hate the inconsistency of our shadow. It doesn't feel fun to use. It feels like a freaking lottery every single time you press that Q button. Might be a sneaky push on the bridge right now. Oh, hey! They've adapted! Houston, look at you go! They've noticed that Florida just keep trying to save the high ground, and so they, they denied it. Nice! Nice! Counters! Counter strategies! That's what we want to see. And thank god they got rid of the goddamn Brig Lucio. Okay, I want to see huge dead eyes. There was nobody fucking there. Down. This will buy a bit of time. Florida inside the I'm just not hoping that they can't touch, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a diva. Ah, <laughs> uh, lord. You know when Dead Eye is really good? It's when someone has to stay on the payload. That's when it's really good. When when someone is like stuck out in the open, and like you know that, that someone has to like huddle back here, for example, like if it's a diva and she just has to stay there, and you have people who can just like pressure, um, and just do damage, and the diva can't move because if she tries, then you can just dead eye and kill it. Um, that's that's so cool. That's a really good time to use dead eye. Um, it's a trap that I warn new players against, right? Which is that, do not be fooled by this timer. Because I've done it, I'm sure you've done it, everyone's done it, right? They've seen that, oh, it's like 10 seconds left on the clock. I'm gonna use my ultimate to stop them doing something on the payload. Ha ha ha, 10 seconds. Ah, oh, this ultimate's gonna last 12 seconds. It's gonna be great. And so you use your sound barrier at this point because, oh, the fight's about to be over. Brown's almost done, boys. And then the overtime goes for 30 seconds. Like, overtime goes in Overwatch. It goes and goes and goes and goes, okay? I used to cast double Winston, double Lucio, double Tracer. I know a thing or two about overtime. Oh, look. There's a Deadeye from BQB. Oh, look. He wiped out the tank line. It's such a, like... Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to dead-eye and deny them from getting to the point. They have a diva, dude. Like, they're getting to the point. An opportunity to get a hold here, like, with how, like, this series... How about you just play the McCree on the high ground and just like leave a couple of people up there? Then watch them try and take the point with a McCree shooting them from one side and Mimra on the point shooting them from the other. Okay, hydration. Time for redemption. You have one job. Literally one job. One job. Single job. Maybe he was trying to get one thing. That's it. Keep pressure on Gargoyle. They got it. They got it. You got it down. They, they got it down. <laughs> they, they got He did it. He did it, guys. Everyone's dead. How did... Is he on the high ground and got flanked? I love the synergy between, like, Chris is playing really well with the DPS, like he's always enabling them. 
because in the background you can you can barely make it out in the blur. Blaze is having a duel against well, he's having a, a very lopsided duel against an angry shield maiden and a cowboy. Uh, and guess who wins that one? Spoiler alert! It's the brig. <laughs> That's really nice. Like, just having... Flank and McCree's I'm never a big fan of. It always feels like really high risk to me. Uh, you can kind of, you know, if they're not dealing with it, then sure, you can really get away with it. But sending the McCree with a Brig? That's pretty good. That's safe. That's nice. I like that. Oh, look. There's a Deadeye on the payload where they have to stand on the payload. Oh, the Hydration Doomfist makes its welcome return. <laughs> and, and we're done here. Get this trash off my screen. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I have been Josh, as one voice amongst many. This has been a look at the Houston Outlaws. I hope they get better. I, I sincerely do. I think... There is always the saving grace for every single team in the Overwatch League at this point, which is the meta is not going to stabilize this year, right? The, the devs are going to make damn sure of that. So by the time, like, when hero locks uh, roll in, we're going to see May vanish, like, straight away. She's so, been so far, like, the most consistently played DPS, so she should be the one to be snapped out. Um, we're going to see her go. I'm pretty gosh darn sure. We'll probably see, like, May McCree get booped out uh, and that will shake things up quite a lot we because the the may at the moment is kind of the the linchpin of the matter she's what everything revolves around she's making everything kind of work how it's meant to when that goes we could see a lot of different comps be run because may start like may slows down dive may also slows down like protracted dps comps because she basically acts as a, a third or second barrier depending on the team comp so yeah there should be a lot a little, a good a lot of stuff so they're deliberately making the comp gains a bit more mixed. It's it's an interesting choice. I don't entirely agree with it. I think they could do the same thing just with balance patches alone and just with some decent balance patching. But yeah. But yeah. Otherwise, yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I'll be trying to do these on Mondays from now on. I'll watch the games over the weekend and then we'll pick one uh, or we'll pick a team to follow and see how it goes. But otherwise, yeah, it's been a blast. You've been chatty. Always been nice. Thank you for chatting along with me. Enjoy the video, go watch it, go give it a like, go give the tweet a like as well, that really, really, really helps. Um, if you would be so kind, I dare ask you for things, uh, which is unusual for me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm even going to link it at you, because I am that goddamn desperate. I am whoring that much for likes. Um, I've always run into the issue where I don't advertise myself ever, so I'm going to start doing it because I need to do it. And these things take a lot of time. Uh, I started editing that video at about 1pm and I finished it literally half an hour before the stream went live, so hey. Sometime before the stream? No. <laughs> so they generally, like, I'm doing them as quickly as I can on the day after the day of the games, um, and they, generally, they go live when they're done, which is usually right before I start streaming. So yeah. Good. Uh, otherwise, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Also, thank you to uh, Ryan and Sea Surfer and Seal Your Mind. Very appreciated. Good people. Bye.